Hey guys, it's um, we're not outside, we're at home. Here's my little guy, say hello, say hello. Oh, he's shy. Okay, so today's St. Patrick's Day, you know, like it, today's um, March 17th in um, in Japan, you know, we, we get it early, we, it's probably like tomorrow in your area, like we even um, marked it with clover. So I got this idea um to just surprise the boys and eat the three big boys that are gonna come back from school so i got those like happy valentine happy uh, st patrick's day and then their names on the bottom of the clover and there's my little girl who is climbing on purpose and she's scared to get down from the from the from the gate she wants mommy to do it for her and mommy did it okay anyway so i got like little treats like they're like jellies and everything is like i'm trying to make it green but it's not everything green so some some of them are chocolates some of them are like um lollipops and things like that so for my youngest one there are seven treats right so they have to find them around the house so for for my youngest one it's um i wrote i'm in a wet place which is the bathroom um and and this girl is doing things on purpose on purpose okay don't be scared you can do this and then the second one is i'm where lego is do you guys want me to show i'll show you i'll show you what it, what i mean by where lego is so so you can see um so this is the second floor of our house um i'm gonna i'm gonna go this way and da da you can see right there's so much Lego. so for the three of them there's like one treat they have to find in this without stepping on it this is uh, this is amazing to me this is amazing so i don't really spend much time here okay so the third one says i'm where green grows we have two places in our house where we have sprouting seeds and avocado trees so let's see where they find it i'm on your desk so it's like under something like I'm in a stinky place. Let me show you where the stinky place is. I'm pretty sure you will know where that is. Kai, can I come? Can I come down, please? Can I come down? Thank you. Mommy's just jumping over that gate. Wow, I still can, right? This is a stinky place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's a little jello. Those guys are fascinated by the stinky place right now. Let's close the door. Kai Kai, let's close the door. So this is a stinky place, right? Yeah. It's really stinky. Um, I just sprayed, so it's, it's nice now. Then the next one is I'm under the carpet. There are three, four, five rooms where we have carpets. It's under here, under this mess. So he has to dig under this mess. This is amazingly messy so this is their um what do you call it defense uh um cl the, their clothes that they go train with um their defense martial arts the short engine thing so okay the next one is i'm covered in yellow pikachus he has to figure out where does he have so many yellow pikachus and that's on his t-shirt and his t-shirt is in his box see each box each each boy has one box here in the winter when it's cold and this is the only room where we have um kerosene heater that's where their clothes are so this is this is a show the many people choose okay so this is my little guy and and i just leave it here for him and then for my middle guy this is what it says here uh find me where you sleep so it's like around his bed area um, find me where all over your desk so it's like around the desk area find me where lego is you know where that is now find me where plants grow in the house so i stuck his lollipop like a plant it's really really cool um find me where you play music so there is a piano area and i'm the last lost treasure in a wet place so that's like the bathroom so this is what i wrote for him and then for my oldest, it's just like a few words. It's like really, really few words. It's like it says, dark place, storage. The second one, studying area, studying place area. A wet, warm place. 
Lego place, growing plants place in a galaxy far, far away. I have this virtual reality game and his street is inside the box, which is upstairs and he has to find the box where it is, if he remembers where we played last time. And then number seven is I love you so much, which means it's somewhere here. It's in my pocket. Okay, so I'm really excited when they come back home. This is just like something, I don't know. And just make it fun for for them. Those two, they already tried the jellos and they're tired and grumpy and ate too much chocolate, you can tell. Yeah, and and just I'm, I'll just let them go play outside right now because it's really nice and sunny. But um yeah, it it's I don't really think I'm gonna go today with a stroller outside because I went to grab some stuff. I actually went to get ham because do you know that book? Oh, you guys, come, come, uh, come and let me help me find this book. It, it's Doctor Zeus. It's uh, what is it called? Green, green eggs and ham, or green ham and eggs, something like that. So we have that book somewhere in this big mess here. I'll try to find that book. And we are th we were thinking to make scramble green eggs and ham. I don't know how I'm gonna make the ham green, but and I don't know if I can find the book, but there are so many books here and we are gonna try our best to find it. Okay, guy, let's try to find our book where the green, where the green ham and eggs are. We have lots of those books that um, we get from Costco in Japan um but it, it's really really nice to have them because yeah. they're in english and they're really really sweet cute well, this is for trash for sure oh gosh there there is just so sorry guys uh, my camera is like all over the place sorry um i'm trying to find the green i saw it somewhere recently i'm trying to remember where do we stick that book ouchie that's my leg there guys that's my leg there um let me see if they're here i cannot i cannot really look here can i um yeah here's the piano area maybe somewhere here there are moonies everywhere which is wipes oh i i don't know this is here okay here's the treat behind the piano okay it's not here so let me find try to find in the kitchen i i know we read it somewhere i know i know one of my boys was like holding it and he actually read it one time all by himself and he was really proud of it but i want to anyway so for dinner we want to make green ham and eggs with uh, rice and i'm gonna try to make i'm gonna try to make the rice green too we have fox and socks that's that's really cool book he was proudly reading that one to me once as well um, I don't see the green ham and eggs. It's okay if I don't find it, but um, it's you know it, that's it's similar how it looks like. And oh, I know it's somewhere. It's just anyway. So but we've read it before, so the boys know what it what is what is it about. And um, we're gonna have fun eating green ham and eggs, and we're gonna have lettuce so, and celery because that they're green too. So that's that and cucumbers probably and broccoli maybe i don't know we'll just figure it out something uh, it's amazing how in this season there are actually lots of um green veggies and stuff i was like um i was thinking to to make something exciting for them like this morning we ate pancakes that were green and mixed the dough last night put it in the fridge so i have a few left i think can you guys see them that's how they look. They're they're really awesome. Uh, my kids don't like them like thick and small. They like them uh, like Bulgarian people like them like that. They're, they're like um, thin. Sorry, they're thin and um, and big. And so you can you have to have like a really big pan, and then you um, put the stuff on it. And like you can put bananas, strawberries, cream. You can put jam or peanut butter or Nutella or whatever, and you roll it and you eat it. And then we also baked cookies. And they were green too. So, I mean, they are regular cookies, with, but the dough is green because we added lots of green um, dye, which we borrowed from grandma's place. Um, 
so this is this is like really cool um everything we tried today is green like i am trying to, to wear something green i don't really have much green but like this is the closest to green it's kind of like grayish green but my sister gave it to me so it's really cool and then i have those earrings from i believe they're from belfast or dublin whatever like i i really like earrings that's my thing so i if i have earrings for every season and from all over the world i i just love it it's it's really cool i like earrings i don't like necklaces or bracelets i wear them in very rare occasions when i feel like a girly but that's not there every day but yeah so and the reason i'm doing all this stuff is not just because i want to keep myself super busy with that while the, the, two, the other two are murmuring all over the place but it's because um yesterday they had a really hard time um all of them all three of them were like um crying um like there there are very various reasons why they did what they did but like uh, for example my oldest he he was crying because um this um game um fortnite was um updating the server going into se season six last night so so he couldn't play it and he has a play date with his i'm gonna sit on this chair um he he always has um a play date with uh, his friend that to meet in the game from their homes at five o'clock you know he has to come home finish his homeworks and be done with it and you know so um that happened yesterday so he cried the reason he cried was because that's tuesday on monday he couldn't do it because there were piano lessons on, on monday they go to piano and on sunday they don't play games on saturday was um his younger brother's birthday so there was a birthday party here so you know he was attending and he was like you know he couldn't play with his friend so much and so and then the friday before I don't remember what he pointed out, but he said with so many days in a row he couldn't play, and so he was like, "Why everything is trying to be, to, be between us and like try to make things? Why things work that don't work out out for us to play?" So he was crying. He was really sad, and I was like, "I do understand you." Like, I was expecting him to, to act more mature, but actually, I understand him, and I've been there, like. I've been wanting when I was little to play out but uh, after I finished my homework um, with my friends or like kids at the schoolyard which was just across of our street on the street where our house was like literally the school and across of the school on the street is our house so I, I, I could just go and play with the kids like we played soccer we played um, dodgeball we played basketball that was my favorite so I really enjoy it, but my mom was always like, no, we can't. So I understand the kid. Um, so I try not to be like that restrictive because uh, what happens is like you, when you don't let them do this and that and with friends, they just, uh, at the end, they just have it and they just get out of the house. They, 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 you're not a prisoner. You're supposed to be out there and socialize with other kids. Um, and he has pretty good gang of kids. So hello, baby girl. Um, then my middle guy, he cried because his younger brother went to his uh, friend's house, which is just around the corner. And, um, and he was surprised that my middle guy, he was surprised that the, his brother didn't wait for him. So, because he finished his homework a little bit later. So he was like, I'm going to go to mommy. And I was like, okay, as long as you guys are okay. And, and they were to get the phone that the extra little phone that we have for kids guy guy be careful with that door there be careful with the doors baby um those sliding doors usually they smug their fingers in them and it hurts and they cry and there he goes again but anyway so here's my avocado plants you guys look at them so cute anyways and that's where i stuck one of the lollipops you can see that <laughs> guy you found a new way to rest, go high. Let's close. Okay, okay, let's close. Slowly, gently. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. You're a gem. And then, um, so, and then they come home and Sean cries, um, my, my middle guy. And I was like, what happened, sweetie? And he was like, well, I didn't do anything there. Like, so I was like, so you mean you went to their, to the house of the kid and then your brother played with him, but you didn't? He's like, no, I didn't play anything. I didn't do anything. So he was like bored and, he was like in a way like why did i go in a sense 
And so I was like, well, maybe talk to your brother and like communicate with them, like tell them that you want to be part of it too. And if they if they make you feel like you don't want to be part of it, don't go. Like don't really do that to yourself. And so like so he was really heartbroken too. And I understand that it's, it's just you go somewhere, you do the effort to go somewhere, and you know your brother is there, and then you feel like completely neglected. That is horrible, you guys. For in the eyes of the kid, that's horrible. Like for us, that was like whatever role right but like for kids that's just an emotional kind of like and he's my sensitive guy so they're all sensitive but like he's really really anyway oh God, be careful baby you get stuck here and then uh the youngest he well what happened to him i don't remember what was he was looking all day for his supporter that he has he's supposed to wear um at school of his for his bone that uh, was cracked in back in december and january and so I think on Monday, this coming Monday is his last check, doctor check to make sure that it's 100% healed. So he doesn't have to have the supporter. He, he wears supporter at school now for sake for the sake of like other kids seeing it and being careful with his arm. Because you know how kids are. They're like balls of energy. And so, um, so that's that. Kalia, Kalia, Kalia. Let, let's keep it closed, baby, please. Please, please, sweetheart. Oh, dear. I have to keep the door now anyway so um he and we couldn't find that thing for the love of the world we couldn't find it and i was like okay you go to school without it that's yesterday tuesday and then i will i'll look for it at home and then when i find out i'll come with the babies in the straw and I'll, I'll bring it to you lo and behold i looked i couldn't find it and quite honestly i also for, forgot all about it and then he comes home and yesterday i'm like putting the the phtons back here to you know i sleep here with the babies um to get ready for bedtime and i see it i see it right there at the piano like on the top of the diapers and i was like oh he was playing the piano because i make them now every day to play the piano for 15 minutes every day just practice so so they don't end up just being being going to piano but not practicing at home because that's like not really a good idea look at that you guys look at that look at that they're just here in the corner now doing nothing they're just just banging each other in the door in the corner and they have to cry about it anyway so so all the three of them are like misfortunate yesterday so and i quite honestly was about to break down because i was you know you listen to people complaining and crying and mm -hmm. suffering emotionally and and you have to cook the dinner and those two last night for whatever reason were so impossible because they had only one nap and they literally gave up they just collapsed after bath so um we fed them quickly something my youngest helped me um and then baited them and they just 7 30 they were out they said through the night um and a few times they woke up but like it's not like waking up waking up do, 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 do. it's just it was really like wow and so i had a i had a it was really hard it was really hard and there you go i didn't really mention to anybody some parts and bits to my sister but like not like see like i right now sit down and talk to myself in front of the phone and i already feel better because if you don't let it out i, I don't know I just, I can't. anyway so Kale, do you want can, can we close the door baby please thank you can we close she's pushing it the other way okay i hope you're safe now so i was like okay gets let's go to um get some stuff to, from the supermarket like ham ham was my like i thought i have ham in the fridge but i guess i didn't so had to get some ham and some treats for them so they can find them and eat them hopefully share with the babies but i, I don't know if they're gonna share but that's okay i know they're gonna come because today is wednesday and wednesday they come uh look at this look at this you guys that's not gonna happen okay i have to protect i have to protect my plants from you guys hi back up hi let's clean up hi clean up no 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 this this is not happening now. this is not happening this is not happening hi hi kalia hi this is you guys my um those are treasures i love them 
and it's getting warmer so there's some more here and there for yesterday and dirt this is a vine this is like grapes it's from all the way from bulgaria it survived last summer chainsaw running over it it was growing but it's a long story um but anyway so yeah so today's gonna be st patrick's kind of fun so i don't know i i think i think you know those are memories that stay with with the, with the kids you know oh, that's my laundry sorry um things like that stay um having good memories with like doing doing stuff together and on those special days um nobody cares about st patrick's day here like there's nothing green anywhere you know it's just japan in japan even christmas is like whatever just cakes and chicken and that that's it but um as much as i can i want to make it fun and when i feel i feel good when i feel i have energy i have the desire to do it then i do it but um, yeah we'll see i'm excited when they come home i'll just tell them to change their uniforms because they're there and wash their hands really well and grab grab their instruction paper and start looking for things and i'll help them of course but you know at the end at the end they can just sit down and eat their stuff and i'm pretty sure they're gonna come I'm like mommy can i go to my friend's house after to finish my homework or oh, i finished my homework at school already can i go right now you know they're always like that but it's okay and after this activity i'm gonna you know start getting things ready for dinner the green dinner i'm, I'm not really quite sure what saint patrick's day is about it's all about like i always see this little oh we have this little leprechaun any, every, anyway so we have like a little leprechaun from um dublin that my first born got when he was like really really small baby but um so we we put that leprechaun with us and this morning my baby girl was like um she was hugging it and really really cute so i know rainbows and um those um buckets of no buckets what do you call it pots of um coins and gold but that's about it i don't really know uh -oh. there's like tumbling down you know you know we tumble down all the time <laughs> but we roll with it <laughs> people tumble down anyways um uh, but yeah that, that's my video for today um venting from yesterday's hard day and excitement today and that's how my pretty pretty much my life here rolls it's like i'm on my own with my kids and i just um have ups and downs and when i have ups it's good when i have downs kids are quiet and they know it and so yeah um and today's really nice it's like real spring day so i enjoy it look at this little lady she wants to be on the massage chair <laughs> oh you pretty girl are you are you ready for a massage okay i'll probably read them a book now or something and um wait for the boys to come home all right see you later bye